Well, we're going to turn now to the latest on Obamacare and the debacle. The White House promising the new federal health insurance website will be fully fixed, but it will take weeks. The problems, and there are dozens of them at healthcare.gov, are much worse than we've been told. And ABC's Jeff Zeleny has the details from the White House. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Bianca. The White House is finally hitting reboot, now saying this very troubled website will be ready, but not until the end of next month. In his weekly address this morning, President Obama offering a blunt admission about the failures in his signature health care law. As you may have heard, the site isn't working the way it's supposed to yet. The White House acknowledging the full scope of problems with its beleaguered healthcare.gov website. The administration is hiring a new troubleshooter, promising by November 30th to fix the errors. The president, embarrassed and angry, trying to downplay the setback. Some people have poked fun at me this week for sounding like an insurance salesman, and that's okay. I'd still be out there championing this law even if the website were perfect. But perfect it's not. Administration officials say the website performance is improving, but still not signing up enough customers. While 90% of applicants can now create an account on the website, the next step remains an obstacle. Only three in ten attempts to actually buy insurance are being completed. Well, good morning, everybody. Here Republicans Austin, are calling for Health and uh, Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius to resign. On a trip to Texas Friday, she said she was blindsided by the failed website. Well, actually, I didn't realize it wouldn't be operating uh, optimally before the launch. But the criticism is coming from all sides. Ten Democratic senators are urging the White House to delay at least some provisions of the Affordable Care Act. New Hampshire Senator Gene Shaheen summed up the concern in a letter to the president, saying, allowing extra time for consumers is critically important. This morning, the president is asking for patience. We are going to get it working as smoothly as it's supposed to. We've got people working overtime 24-7 to boost capacity and address these problems every single day. Now, even administration officials concede this rollout has been nothing short of a disaster, mainly because it's given all the critics of this plan new ammunition here. But those critics will be out in full force next week when Kathleen Sebelius testifies on Capitol Hill in front of this congressional committee still investigating this health care site. Dana Biana. Of course, the pressure continues. Now you have both Republicans and Democrats mm -hmm. attacking what's been going on and how poorly this had been planned and rolled out. All right, Jeff, our thanks to you.